Welcome back to Blast Guys Reviews. In this review, we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified. None other than Dreadnought Buzzer. This is the very first Dreadnought so far for the G.I. Joe Classified series. And I must say, the box art is fantastic. Let's take a look at it. Oh, this artwork is killer. Got his chainsaw. We got the band in the back. Which really cool. The homage to the grape soda. Just missing some donuts. That is very, very cool. I'm loving that artwork. Here we can see the accessories you come with. Looks pretty deadly. Wow, pretty awesome. Here's the back of the box. This is number 106. Can you believe we're that far already? Wow. Pretty cool. There's the figure, the accessories, the highlights. That belt buckle looks very cool. There's some tat there. Oh, more crap we don't care about. Can't wait for the window boxes to come back. Here we have the artwork on the side. It looks fantastic. Buzzer's looking fantastic. Artwork, figure looks great. Here we have the other side. QR code. Top of the box. Bottom of the box. There's UPC to help you at all. Remember guys, I'll let you guys know a couple days ago, Big Bad Toy Store got him in stock early right now go get them and there he is outside the packaging my first impressions is like wow he looks fantastic what really pops out it doesn't show you on the box on the product images is the silver that they use on his belt buckle and those doll tags there on his shirt they are absolutely incredibly painted but we'll take a look at it here shortly Let's take a look at the buzzer. Here's the head sculpt. Very cool. I'm, I think he came through very, very well. He looks mean. They don't look, you know, stupid and clumsy like they are in a cartoon. But I think he looks fantastic. So here's a side profile. Got his hair sucked back, his blonde hair. And then uh, it's in the ponytail the back and we do not have rooted hair thank you for that so we do have the plastic hair green rubber band i guess we have his like his yellow shirt cut off sleeves got some chest hair <laughs> that's probably from lenny man that is really cool thanks lenny for all your awesome hard work here is that silver dog tags some type of badge like a gold badge a couple of pair of grenades done in flat black. A green harness here, a strap, or like a, a stirrup. Goes on the back to the back of the pants. Pretty cool. This belt buckle is insane. That skull and crossbones is fantastic. I have the green here, and then the chrome goes throughout his belt. His belt, me. I can't tell you, I don't think it's coming through on a video, but it is a very nice studded silver. It makes this figure pop like no other. It stand, it's the first thing that caught my eye. That is fantastic belt. I really hope it comes through on the uh, on the video. Here we have his shirt that's cut off at the sleeves. He has brown gloves and he has some forearm hair or dirt, if that's what they're going for here. I'm going to go with hair because he has hair on his chest. It's kind of silly. Just have a little bit of dirt there. Pretty cool. He has a watch. Look at that. That is really highly detailed. That's pretty cool. It's a thick band for a watch. There's that tattoo. Very nice. Sword and snake. A cobra. Very, very nice. Yeah, he comes with his, like, his light blue pants. He has his protective crotch piece. No damage going there. He ain't gonna be taking no cheap shots from no G.I. Joe character. We have thigh pads. Um, these are very tight. Not sure if these are positioned correctly or because they have the knife really sitting into the back of him. That's kind of different. I kind of like it. It's the gray with the black pad, with the gray straps, and gray, gray knife sleeve there. So it's kind of running up into between his legs there. Probably have to clean that up. It might take some heat to get that to move, though. Uh, not really. It's just 
just got to get it to where you want to have it. I think it, I like to keep it down just above that thigh cut. I think it's a good positioning for him. Um, very cool. The knee pads, you flat black. The boots are incredibly sculpted. Look at that. That's insane. That's a lot of sculpting. There's all layers. The side, we have the silver ring on the side. The back has the straps. Very cool. It's the bottom of it. This is by far probably one of the best figures that I have gotten in G.I. Joe Classify figures. We've all been waiting for the Dreadnoughts. We've had the Zorana. We have Zartan. But everybody wants the Classic 4. Ripper's on his way next. Let's hope we get Monkey Wrench and Torch relatively soon within the next you know, few waves. Let's just hope. I'll give you a close-up of that belt and some of the uh, detailing. Because it's definitely worth an extra look. Very, very nice. I hope you guys like these unique looks and do unique angles. So it give you an idea and appreciate, you know, the figure, the paint, the sculpting, and all that goes into it. I know we all have our uh, likes and dislikes, but I like to show you some of the stuff that really catches my eye, I, which I enjoy. So, all right, so there he is. Let's take a look at how well our first Dreadnought is articulated. Base of the neck here. You can see it move. And that will rotate two, three, six. It's really hard to get your fingers in there though. But it'll accommodate the, the top of the neck articulation, which you have the back and forth. You can look down. You can look up. Yes, that's oh, that's just crazy eyes there. Crazy eyes. Oh, that's that's a little better right there. That's more crazy with the chainsaw. Yeah, we gotta keep that look going. The arms are on a ball joint. Of course, they rotate 360. We have the butterfly joints that so want to go ahead and just sound off. They're pretty good on both sides. Arms rotate, they will raise up. We get yourself a T pose there. Pretty good. Psycho boy, psycho boy. Bicep cut 360, double jointed elbows. Um, pretty, pretty good. Um, a little stiff. Uh, so this hand, obviously, it will rotate 360. We have a band here and around it's separate from his glove. This hand articulation looks like it to be the up and down. And then this one is hopefully the in and out. Um, it's hard to see with that big watch band that he has on there. Yeah, it's, uh, no, this one's up and down. So that's cool. Yeah, so that's real nice. Um, my figure's got a nice tolerance. I'm so excited because it's my Firefly is just totally trashed. I mean, he has a, just a tad, but that is pretty, I'll take it any day. Uh, kind of like a ratcheting. Bends over, bends over that far, looking down, looking for that grape soda or the donut that he dropped. The clicking, ratcheting, goes back pretty far, pretty cool. He seems pretty solid. Here's a waist swivel here. I'm not going to force it because I, <laughs> mine's pretty nice and I'm not going to risk any uh, damage to the figure. But there's a waist swivel there. The legs, let's hope we get some Dreadnought bikes so we can see how he can sit. Um, Pretty good. I'm not, gonna, I'm not forcing my range. You may get this a little more up. You want if you want to do that. Um, drop down hips obviously appears when you do that. You just push them back up inside. Pretty good split for a dreadnought. And there's a drop down hips. It comes back down. Pretty sweet. Then we have the thigh swivel that that one's kind of stuck. That's what I just kind of get bound up on when I put them on, I think. But they're there. Mine's kind of under the heat there. Double jointed knees. Hopefully they work. Yep. Just got to get a little bit of heat to those thighs. Um, boot cut 360. Beat the pivot down, up. 
around the ankle, of course, to give you that rocker illusion. And he looks beautiful. Overall, he feels fantastic. My joints feel good. I don't have nothing loose that dry, will drive me crazy. It's acceptable for me. A little bit of play there, but not much. I'll take that any day. My thighs are frozen. They're not fused. They're just uh, new. And then maybe I'm just babying him because it's coming off my uh, firefly incident. The evil firefly incident. There he is, guys. Check him out. All right, so we have Buzzer's box. Under six. I've seen these before a thousand times over again. They're really cheap boxes, but let's check out his accessories. All right, so we're back here. I brought in my work in progress custom table. I'm working on a beat up table for Dr. Mindbender's lab. Um, wanted to grab it real quick. This has nothing to do with buzzer. You do not get this table or the real fuses. These are actually real fuses. Just as a little, these are real from a circuit board. Pretty cool. So I thought I'd use those for Dr. Miami. They're just kind of on there because I want to lose them. But they look pretty cool nonetheless. So starting off, let's take a look at buzzers. Obvious iconic glasses. Silver, the black lenses. Looks super cool. Um, they seem pretty much, you know, pretty solid. Um, I'm glad there is no slices in his head. So, it looks like what they've done, they've indented the hair right there, I think. I haven't tried this yet. You guys have seen this. A little bit of extra plastic on there. Let's get that off of there. You've seen this first as I'm seeing it. Getting my exciting reaction. Sound like a little school kid with a new toy. But I'm telling you what, I've been waiting for the Dreadnoughts for a while. And getting a decent version of him is extra special. Um, little, little off, I think, on the glasses. Um, maybe it takes some heating and some reforming. But yeah, they don't stay very well. So that's a bummer. Maybe something I'll have to work on. Some repositioning with some heat and reforming. Plastic has memory. Yeah, there's really no special way to keep those on. So that's uh, that's definitely um, a uh, negative against the figure. But let's see what happens after I heat him up. He has a knife. Very cool. I like that handle. That's a realistic handle. That blade is pretty nicely sculpted. Very, very cool. Um, and that's probably what this knife sleeve is for in the back. So, it's actually overkill. For most part. But it fits. Yeah, it's pretty good. Does he hold it? Well. Yeah, he's just... Sticky like a pig. Pretty, pretty cool. I like it. Um, this silver blade has no, no comparison to that belt buckle and belt. That's just paint. That's paint, obviously paint, but that's that's incredible. I can't wait you guys get to see yours and you guys get yours from wherever you decide to pre-order them from. Let's see here. We have a pistol. Uh oh, we dropped the pistol. Um, he has to wrap. I guess a little yellowish. Maybe the same color of his t-shirt. That's cool. Ownership is awesome. That looks like a real gun. The plastic, pretty stiff. Maybe because it's small. We'll have to wait and see what we get. You see the clip at the bottom. This is quite small. Um, hopefully, uh, this is an undersized. We have a drill barrel I see there. Blast effects. Wow, this is very small. Alright, there it is. Um, yeah, it's very it's a challenge to get it in there. His finger seems to be look bigger than that little uh, hole for the pistol. It's a very small gun. I think that these might be undersized or if they're going 
I don't see this being like a little uh, snub nose pistol or something. This is more, what do I, no more gun. I just, and as you can see, it goes in here. Pretty cool. Um, this thing is undersized for some reason. Could be my opinion. I've been noticing this with some of the other figures, um, I'm sure. But that's just small arms. So I'm trying to save the best for last. Which, you know, I think some of this silver paint is going to come through here pretty awesomely. Um, here's this thing. Look at this. Now, obviously, I would love to have this real chain. And you can swing this thing around. But, I'll tell you what. That's pretty nicely sculpted. And the color is just like that belt. That's cool. This is fantastic. Here's a handle here. And he can roll this around and try to rip and tear it flesh against his enemies watch out joe's rippers ripper buzzer is definitely going to be um tearing up some uh some flesh you know i don't know it's kind of a thing of a weapon for a ripper because he's ripping stuff this is buzzer he's going to have a cutter which brings us into the other accessory is this which you know it's like two saw blades that were modified, cut in half, and attached to a baseball bat. Spike on it. Pretty cool. Um, This is softer. Plastic, a little warped. But it looks like a mini baseball bat, which is pretty cool. This blade of weapons here. Let's take this out. Let's set this on the table. See how this works. Um, try to get that hand to open up just a little bit. It says like two trigger fingers, like two separated fingers here. And here is his uh, laid. Holds it pretty good. The bat looks small. It just, it just should be a little bit longer. My opinion. But I mean, they're great looking accessories. It's just, I don't know. I think their accessories are, there's something with their tolerances with some of their accessories. I think that should be longer. I mean, if you guys get yours, I mean, in the comments, if you watch this, I have to get yours. I don't know why you would, but I appreciate that. Um, see what you think. Let's take this out of the way. Now, his main accessory, obviously, is this going to be his chainsaw? This looks incredible. Now this looks, you know, like it's scaled properly. Pretty nice. Very cool. Um, he has like the grayish the teeth on the chainsaw and then he has the silver body. He probably should have did that a little different. Maybe made the teeth the silver and this uh, the gray maybe. But this is a soft plastic. Mine doesn't seem too warped. Chainsaw looks great. You get the wire, nice sculpting, a lot of detail there. The handle, handle on the back. It's just like a scrap iron made chainsaw. It's like a lot of electronics in that chainsaw, which definitely makes it look futuristic, but pretty cool. And here he is holding his chainsaw. Looks pretty sweet. Um, I'll be very careful with this hand. Now, this is a very soft plastic for the chainsaw. And if the hands are very thif, uh, stiff, so be careful with that. And it's really hard to get that to set up under there without wanting to bend it. But for our purposes here, he can hold the chainsaw with two hands. And of course, you just need to reposition it however you want for that purpose. Um, looks pretty cool. Uh, the glasses do not stay. Or at least mine do not. Um, maybe it's better for a different, you know, copy of these. Hmm. Yeah. So that's unfortunate for the glasses. Uh, maybe I'll have to figure something out for that. Maybe put a band or something on the on the glasses to keep them on. Because for me, I think it's that's a more of the iconic classic look. At, the glasses so as soon as you bump it, it they're going to fall off and hopefully they don't get lost 
for a lot of people. Um, yeah, it's cool. Well, there he is. Hope you guys enjoyed this review, this look at Buzzer. So, let's talk about him. He's, he's a good figure. Um, Figure-wise, he's a good figure. Nice joint amount of tones. It's a good, nice details where they need to be. Looks very cool. Uh, but accessories are the one that's going to make you question um, the, the, the figure. Uh, soft for the chainsaw. And it doesn't look like it's going to sit, huh? Maybe I'll put that over there. There we go. That looks cool. But his glasses are one of the biggest let down it's because they don't sit on his face they seem to be pretty uh pretty, pretty soft so but it has cool accessories i mean they made a great attempt to give him credit the the hand weapons and then the chainsaw was fantastic and the coloring is perfect just i think they're undersized other than that uh the figure is beautiful um in my opinion i mean, no complaints about the figure just the accessories, obviously. We've seen this before with some of the G.I. Joe weapons, but it is what it is, I guess. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Did you grab this figure from Big or Bad Toy Store? Do you like this figure? What do you think about everything with about the accessories it comes with? Um, do you like them? Are you excited for the figure? I'm still excited for a figure. Uh, I knew the accessories were probably going to be soft good, so it wasn't too much of a lot down for me. Besides, I just don't know what's going to undersizing these things. So, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.